For six months, we have faced invasion. But here, at Albion, we will make our stand. Welcome to the August update for Kaladaja Media Productions. I'm Jason, the creator of the Kaladaja Universe. And I thought for this month we'd do things a little bit differently. Instead of complaining about playtesting the Argyle Frigates from the Coleth Guard, because I've been doing that a lot, and complaining about them a lot, I think I have them balanced. Why don't I go ahead and let's dive into the production of the Kaladaja short film. I got to go ahead and film pretty much all of it, at least hopefully all of it made it through and worked all right at the time that I'm recording this. But let's just go ahead and do some behind the scenes look at that right now. Well, hello. Again, it's that time of the year where I get a call from Jason and he says, Oh, I'm, I'm, I need help. I'm going to be dressing in some type of weird sci-fi alien creature suit and you have to shoot uh, the video footage to make whatever we're making today. Which is why I'm out here early in the morning in the middle of a, some strange woods and I'm about to get a camera. You can see Jason's over there. He's, he's, he's getting changed into his uh, alien reptile uh, outfit. And we are about to shoot this uh, sci-fi commercial for Jason's for uh, Legends of Caladasia. At least I'm pretty sure it's Legends of Caladasia that we're doing this for. It better be. And yeah, so this is what we're doing this morning. And half awake sore, but you know what? I love doing this, so let's get started with it. Oh yes, and I have an Altoids in my mouth. That's why I'm speaking rather funny. And probably in this type of cool morning, it's it's actually quite comfortable. It is actually, um, but it's just <laughs> the, the the scales on it. I don't know. Just it's it's making me kind of like just giggly. Just well, it's not. This isn't like the the lizardman skin. This yeah. Is the environment suit. Ah, an environment suit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so okay. Not, that's why it's designed. It's designed to give a um. It's like a it's like a cosplay texture designed to simulate like a spacesuit, scuba suit kind uh -huh. of kind of thing. So. That's why it looks like that. It's not, um, except, yeah, it's not except, skin. Goodness, no. except this kind of, it's, it's a little too wrinkly. It looks like it's just like clothes you just threw on. Yes. <laughs> it's a very poorly fitting environmental suit, and there's no shortage of, of reasons for that. That maybe one day in the story we'll discuss. And th this is this is a really important filmmaking lesson. When things don't go exactly the way you envision them, you just make up some type of backstory for why it is the way it is, and it just goes into your story. I yep. do that all the time, so yeah, that's no problem. I've been placed the bin where there's no poison ivy. Mm -hmm. um, and get a shot here of me running down this trail, like coming off the... Like, okay, from the there and there. I'm going down here. Okay. Yep. Pray to God you don't slip and fall. Yeah. And like the wet grass, you just be careful. Run, but you know... Don't run so fast as you don't have control. Go. Oops. Not. You got to be a little bit further up. What happened? You got to be a little bit further up. Now Jason's just got to do like VFX shots. So um, basically, putting the camera into nothing but forest, and then putting something digitally there later. Okay. There's the suit all in the. Uh, and the tail sticking up in the helmet because they're all done with the shooting of the lizard man or girl, whatever. And uh, it's a, it's a what? The male character in this case. Okay, a, a, a lizard guy. Done with that. And Jason just has to do a couple of uh, shots for uh, special effects that he'll edit in. And then we are pretty much done with this shoot this morning. Yay. Then I've also started some of the very basic VFX work. Um, in particular here, I've started doing some of the sky replacement. As it is common with DSLR videography, the sky was all blown out, so instead of having a really bright white sky, I want to put something that kind of looks like the planet Cadre 4 where this takes place. Now it's not a really hard process to do, but it can get a little bit time consuming. The first step is pretty easy. All I'm doing is basically taking a look at the frame here kind of breaking it down by how bright things are 
and I'm removing all the bright areas. You can see here, here's a mask where all the things that are white, those are the areas that are not bright and they're gonna be kept. The areas that are black, those are the areas that were too bright, like primarily the sky and little patches between the branches and the trees, those are gonna be removed and replaced with the alien sky. However, this process is a little bit overzealous. There are some areas in the character, some of the more reflective parts of his costume that are also being removed because this kludgy process thinks those things are sky because they're really, really bright. So the next part you have to do is actually mask around your character. This is go kind of frame by frame-ish. It doesn't have to be super precise because this is not like adding visual effects in the background or something like that. And just roughly trace out where these bright areas are on the character and tell my visual effects software don't remove these areas. So with that done, I got a pretty nice looking alien sky and the areas in the character, even though they're bright and reflective because they are reflecting the light of the sky, they're not being removed because I've told the software leave these areas in place. Well, there you go. That's a quick look at how I'm coming along here with the Caladasia short film. I know I've been kind of teasing it for quite a while now. You'll probably see a lot more of this in the upcoming monthly updates, but also the whole progress on the Kloith Guard is coming along pretty good and I was pretty Pretty serious about actually finally getting the Argyle Frigates balanced. I think I got them to a point where I'm pretty happy with them. I'll probably talk more about that math later on, but I'll wait till that set's done and it's a lot closer to release. But with that, once again, I'm Jason, the creator of the Caladagia universe. And for more information on Legends of Caladagia, head over to caladagia.com. You can see the little URL hanging around right there. And thanks for watching. For six months, we have faced invasion. But here, the Albion, he will make us die.